One of the most amazing things about being human is our extraordinary ability to learn. Even from a young age, a child's brain works in mysterious ways to recognize their parents, even favorite toys and food, without needing to be explicitly taught. While we've peered deeper into human brains to discover neurons and synapses, the ability to understand and recreate general human intelligence continues to evade us. Yet, this does not deter us from creating smarter robots, machines, and computer programs. Your smart assistant can now listen to your commands and provide requested information, manage your calendar, and help you communicate with your friends. Your phone can also identify your face to unlock itself and make e-payment securely. There's even a chess program now that can outsmart a human world champion. All these are made possible because of machine learning algorithms. If data is the new oil, then machine learning algorithms are the refineries. Putting analogies aside, an algorithm is nothing more than a series of computational steps performed in sequence to solve a problem. However, there is no one-size-fits-all algorithm that can be used in all situations. Different contexts and problems may call for a different algorithm and approach. But what all machine learning algorithms share is that they generally learn from past data to create a model, then use it to predict the future or prescribe a certain action. So what is a model? Think of it as simplifying a complex and noisy world into a single framework you can easily refer to and use. Want to predict how much your house will sell for? Pick a predictive algorithm. Train it with relevant past data, such as location, floor size and level, listed selling price and create a model in the form of a mathematical equation. Put the data of your house into the model and you can now predict its potential resale price. Want to detect if a transaction is fraudulent? Choose a clustering algorithm. This time, apply it to data such as user demographics, transaction amount, type of purchase, and location of purchase to create a model that tells you what is normal or an anomaly. Detecting a particular object from pictures? A deep learning algorithm works best. Train it with lots of images of the object and create a neural network that can tell you whether a new image you show contains that particular object. The model in this case, well, is a neural network and a set of weights. But if you've noticed a pattern, it's that computers learn and excel in limited and narrow ways. Going back to the earlier examples, your smart assistants can understand you well enough until you start to use colloquial English. The same AI that triumphed over the world chess champion will fail miserably in a game of simple tic-tac-toe. Your phone, which recognizes your face well enough to unlock itself, can still mistakenly tag strangers as you in a photo app. Fundamentally, a human doesn't learn like a machine. You don't choose algorithms in your mind before you can tell a cat from a dog. And if you're a grandmaster in the game of Go, you're unlikely to struggle when playing tic-tac-toe. Some AI optimists are hopeful and propose that the singularity, a hypothetical future where AI has surpassed human intelligence, will be upon us soon. Yet, from what we can see for now from its limitations, it may remain a vision in a relatively distant future. Still, the fact is that machine learning algorithms do outperform humans in specific tasks. So the real challenge for us is to pick the right machine learning algorithms to augment us in solving the problems at hand.